Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome to another Trick or Treat Horror Movie Review. I'm DJ Surreal with Descent Sundays, and today we're going to talk about Insidious 2. So, sequels to horror movies usually are just bad. Um, there's very few that are actually any good. Um, this is actually one of them, which I was quite pleasantly surprised by because I really enjoyed the first Insidious movie. So the movie picks up pretty much where the last movie ended, which is great because the last movie ends kind of on a cliffhanger. So it's nice that they pick up immediately from there and you just move on with the story. Um, as you go in, you find out that um, the possessed spirit, or the spirit that was initially following the father around as a child, has actually managed to push his spirit out of his body and take over his body. And so now he's parading as the father. There's a lot of really cool things that they do with this story, like the origins of the woman in black, which I personally love. It's a major plot twist. It's really great. Uh, I'm not going to ruin it for you because this movie is totally worth watching. And um, needless to say, it explains why, um, why is she haunting Josh? and where they originally met and basically all the it answers a lot of questions that the first movie raised in regards to where did this person come from and why are they there so the cool thing about this sequel is that they actually build on the story from the first movie and they actually incorporate elements of the first movie um, which I really liked because it sort of adds and answers some questions and it's like oh like weird things that happened in the first movie or like you know, you just accept them as weird things, but in the second movie, when they actually add some explanations to why some of those things are happening by tying in events of the second movie, you're like, oh, that makes sense. So it's really nice. Um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I also really enjoyed the fact that the spirit of the husband, Josh, is, you know, trying to reach out to his wife. So he's doing a bunch of things like he's pushing kids toys and playing their song on the piano and initially you just see things from her side so you see toys move unexpe unexpectedly and then a phantom tune on the piano and it's all very creepy and then later on when they explain it was really him you're just like oh yeah okay not all these things had to be creepy like some of it was actually just him trying to reach out right I really like that because I felt like um, so many ghost stories just frame anything that ha anything weird that happens is bad and I liked that this one brought an element of hope and positivity to something that we would normally perceive as creepy so I thought that was a really nice touch and it was something unique overall I'd say that Insidious 2 is a real treat turning out to be a great franchise um, and you know there's, they've left a lot of room for what they can do with it um, so you know it's it's pretty great I'd say check it out anyway. uh, that was close I almost blew that out so thank you for joining me today for our horror movie review and be sure to come back tomorrow for another great review sequels are often bad. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, and welcome to another Trick or Treat Horror Movie Fest review. <laughs> yes. Okay, start again. <laughs>